Hey guys, welcome back. And today we're going to be talking about how you can schedule charging and preconditioning for your Tesla. Tesla just revamped the schedule feature, so let's dive right in. We're going to go right into the little car icon here and we'll scroll all the way down here or we'll go all the way to the schedule function right here. And if you use peak and off peak rates, now you can start charging at those times. So let me show you how. You go to charge here, just click on that there. And you'll have your start and end by times. So let's say, for instance, your um, off peak rates start at 8 p.m. So we'll just switch this to 8. And let's say they end by 4 a.m. Now you can have it set like that. And let's say you wanted to do it every day. Right now I have it set it as every day. And let's say you just only want to do that Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Um, and then you'd repeat that weekly. So let's say that's the schedule you want to do. So as you see here, it says start charging at 8 p.m. on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. And it'll stop at 4 a.m. the next day. So all you have to do now is just press save. And that's it. So if you do have the off peak and peak rates. So that's how you can set your times to only charge at those specific times that you have the off peak rates. So that way you're not getting charged uh, more than you should be. Now, if you don't have off peak rates like myself, I like to just have an end by time here. Uh, so for me, let me show you what I would do. So I take away the start at because you don't really need to have that on and I just have an end by time. So for instance, let's say um, uh, I want my car to be ready for me in the morning, uh, yeah, you know, seven o'clock in the morning. So what I'll do is I'll set it here, 7 a.m. And I just keep that same, uh, you know, charging schedule of uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, and it'll complete by 7 a.m. Those, on those dates or on those days, I should say. So I'm gonna press save, and just like that, uh, it'll just, just uh, you know, know when to start charging at my charge limit. Right now it's set for 60%, and as you saw here, it stopped charging, it'll say ready to depart at 7 a.m., and it'll know when to start charging based on how much battery you have left and where you need to be, so whatever your charge limit is set. At. What I do as well, I coincide the end time with my planned departure time. So that is where the precondition comes into, into play. So I set this precondition time to whatever that time is. So for instance, right now it's 7 a.m. I'm also going to set this to 7 a.m. on those days. So it was Saturday, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, so Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. We're going to repeat that weekly. So that way it knows when to be done charging by. So setting both a precondition time and the end time for the same time, now it knows, okay, I need to be done by 7 a.m. that charge. So if I'm at 41%, it knows that by 7 a.m. it needs to be done at 60%. And what it does it sets your desired cabin temperature. And I do this because it can reduce your energy costs. So I just press save here. When your Tesla is charging, the battery stays warmer, which helps the car reach your desired cabin temperature more quickly, especially during those colder winter months. It also uses the energy from the charger and not the battery, effectively being able to cut your early drive consumption that would normally be used to heat or cool the cabin and battery. If you don't precondition your Tesla in cold temperatures, then regenerative break-in will be limited or even unavailable until the battery has warmed to at least 10 degrees Celsius, which is 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And as a side note, your Tesla does not need to be plugged in to precondition. It just needs to have at least 20% charge and it will drain your battery. So let me run you through some examples. If charging starts as soon as you plug your car in, charging may complete sooner. That causes the battery to cool down and then require energy to warm it back up by your departure time. So let's say I plug it in right now and it gets to the 60% before I need to leave at seven o'clock in the morning. So right now it's 1251. 
let's say it's done by 4 p.m. Then if I leave at 7 a.m., it has to warm the battery back up to precondition your car, right? To get it to the desired temperature for when you want to leave. Another example is if you only need to charge 10%, then the car adjusts the charging start time, ensuring there's just enough time to reach that 10% before your scheduled departure. So let's say it was at 50% charge right now, and I needed to get to 60%. It knows when and how long it needs to charge for, for that 10%. So it won't just start charging now, it'll charge closer to your departure time. When charging, your Tesla will warm the battery pack to 10 degrees Celsius, which is 50 degrees Fahrenheit, before beginning the charge. If you set scheduled departure with preconditioning to start shortly after charging is done, the battery will already be partially warmed from the charging process. During preconditioning, the battery is heated to 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit, unless you're navigating to a supercharger. When heading to a supercharger, the battery will be heated to around 46 degrees Celsius, which is 115 degrees Fahrenheit, to ensure optimal supercharging performance. But that's for a separate video. You can also set location for your charging. So for instance, I want this schedule to be for home, but you can also do one for work if you have those two set up in your profile. Currently, I don't have a, a work address set up because I don't, wouldn't charge there. So for me, that doesn't matter. Um, but, you know, it does help with navigating to places. If you're going to go to work, you can just uh, go to your navigation, uh, click on the work or, you know, press the work and it'll bring you right there. So you don't have to keep doing that all the time. So it is a nice convenient feature to set both your home and your work address in the navigation. And then it uses those addresses for the home and your work and for right now, we're just gonna have it set for home. But this is what it would kind of look like for me where I am setting my charge time as well as my precondition time. And I want those uh, pre that precondition time to be for the end time of my charge. So that way it is the most energy efficient and not wasting um, either you know, the energy of the car or my energy of my home. Thanks for watching, and if you've liked this video, please give it a nice thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't, and any comments, questions, suggestions, just put them down in the comments section below. Definitely love interacting with you, love hearing from you, and like always, keep on living a modern lifestyle through technology. Peace.